Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to share some spring updates and some spring projects that we've been working on around the house. We have been getting a little bit of sunshine and it's been so nice. So I'm trying to break out all the projects I can. Speaking of which, I've been working on some really fun Cricut projects lately that I will be sharing with you guys. So huge thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. It's gonna be a fun video, so make sure you stick around. Okay, so jumping right into all of the spring projects, all of the spring updates I've been working on, there is so much that goes into the upkeep of a home. And when we're just coming out of a long winter and we get a little bit of sunshine, it's time to purge, throw some trash away. We definitely had some bulk trash pickup. We've been working a lot in the yard. This cute little frog, I could not not take a video of it and share it with you guys. It was the most beautiful little frog. I was obsessed with the colors and his little brown eyes, super cute. So we've had so much beautiful sunshine in California lately, like 70s and 80s, just beautiful days, also mixed with some random thunderstorms. guys I cannot with the thunderstorms it's too much it's so random so we really enjoy our sunshine here those thunderstorms have brought some rain with them so that is one thing everything is really green and pretty and blooming it is spring and I am in love with all the plants and the gardening my little olive tree taking a big growth spurt there and then I haven't power washed this little patio set or anything lately just because we're supposed to be expecting a little bit more rain um, later this week, so I'm gonna hold off on that, but we definitely have been tackling a ton of yard work and trying to get control of the weeds and trimming trees. I've made a few trips to Lowe's and Home Depot. I need to do one more trip and get a little bit more plants for the patio, but I did happen to get some for the porch, so I wanted to really work on the porch and get that looking pretty again because that has been so neglected. You guys know one of my favorite things is strolling the aisles in the garden center early in the morning. This one was not too early in the morning, but it was still peaceful and beautiful. I have two planters on my porch, so I wanted to get a taller grassy type and then a filler type, so like some flowers or something of the sort. I always think about getting these and then I end up putting them back. They are so pretty. They lean a little bit more modern contemporary in my opinion, but they are so pretty. I like to kind of arrange things in my cart like they would be in the planters just to kind of get an idea of how they would look. I also grab a couple bags of potting mix because I like to replenish that soil. It gets pretty dry and gross, so I like to make sure that's fresh. And then I also grab fertilizer too. I have that at home, so I didn't have to get it this time. So this will take care of the front porch. I still need to go back and get some plants and things for the back patio. We have a really fun project going on back there. I can't wait to share with you guys. We've also been super busy with my son's baseball. If you have little ones in the baseball spring season, you know the schedule is a lot. We have so much fun supporting him and the team, and one of the ways I love to do that is by making projects on my Cricut at home. These are a few of the things I've made for my boys. They turned out so cute. To make these projects, I opened up Cricut Design Space and uploaded our logo, so I made sure that I changed that to a basic cut, and then I changed the colors to what I'll be using on the shirt. I'm gonna layer this, so I'm actually going to do offset and go all the way to the opposite side so it almost creates a little border and then I can do two layers to just give it a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna put blue on the design space but it's actually gonna be white when I cut it out. So I'll actually only be using the bottom lion's logo. I created that in design space and added some fun shape to it. Then I'm gonna move that lion's logo underneath, click mirror because it's going on a shirt so it needs to mirror it. I'm going to select the everyday iron on material, a little bit more pressure and then click make it. Now all I need to do is cut my materials out, place them on the Cricut cutting mat. You actually don't have to do this step if you're using Cricut Smart Materials 
nails, which I am today using Cricut Smart Iron-On. I'll be using my Cricut Maker 3 today. This is in the color navy. I'm also using yellow and white as well. Once I have my materials loaded and ready to go, I'm gonna hit that little play button and watch the Cricut Maker 3 do its thing. It's so much fun to watch. These are definitely my favorite projects to make with my Cricut. I've definitely lost count at how many school projects, school logos, team logos, so many things we've made with my Cricut Maker 3. I always make sure that I'm using Cricut materials. They're specifically designed to work with your Cricut machines and they are the best quality hands down. I'm checking the Cricut heat guide. You can use this on Cricut's app or you can go online and find exactly what temperature and how long to hold your easy press on for. It's a really great guide. Once that top logo is cooled, I'm gonna peel that back and it looks perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the second layer on and this is gonna create so much dimension. I love the little white in the background. I think it really makes it pop. I'm holding that easy press on for about 30 seconds and once it's cool to the touch, you can peel it right off and it comes off so seamlessly. This is why I love Cricut materials because I have used other materials from Amazon and they do not come out like that. Cricut has the best materials. Even two layers of the Everyday Iron-On, it doesn't look bulky, it still looks really flat and great quality. For this project, I'm doing a little kind of pocket type logo right on the chest. So I just did the lion's logo with a fun shape and then that little lion head silhouette. There wasn't very much to weed out for this project, just that little center of the O. It made it very simple. And then the Cricut materials always just peel back really easily. So that's always nice too. If you're curious about the long time wear with Cricut materials, I have made so many shirts that continue to go through the wash and dry over and over and over and we've never had anything peel off or falling off. Cricut materials are stress tested for performance and durability so they hold up wonderfully. For this little windbreaker jacket I was really careful I didn't want to put too high of heat so I looked up the fabric inside the jacket and then added that into my Cricut heat guide and it told me exactly which heat to put it on so it didn't melt it or overheat it. And now after I have that first layer of white and then the yellow going on as the second layer, it looks so good. I always use parchment paper on top of my graphic just so that I don't have direct heat on the fabric. I am so impatient. I always wanna peel it off as soon as possible. It's so difficult for me to wait but once it cools then you can pull it right off and this little sport jacket looks so good it's like a little windbreaker type material i can link it for you guys below you can really see how flat and thin those cricut materials are and they just blend in so well with the material i love how they look if you're interested in making one of these projects or other projects I've made in the past, I will link everything below and you can click the link and it'll take you exactly to that project. You can customize them to your liking and make them on your Cricut at home too. And don't forget to visit Cricut.com where you can see all of their products, shop, find projects, ideas. You can see all the Cricut materials I used for my project today and so many more. Happy crafting. So if you guys could believe it, my porch Christmas trees were up until March. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good about the Christmas decor, but this one got away from me. So I had to put those away. And even though my planters were empty for a few weeks, it was better than having Christmas trees <laughs> in March. Also the cutest little face in the window there. And also my planters are starting to rust, at least one is, so I may have to replace those sometime this year. I kind of am not crazy about that orange, but it's kind of just the natural patina, I guess. I could always give them a little DIY or a new fresh paint job as well. I kept a little bit of dirt in that larger one just to kind of fill the bottom space, but I am putting some fresh new miracle Grow potting mix in this planter here. I'm not really particular on what type of soil or potting mix I use. I usually just grab whatever's on sale, but if you have a preference, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. 
I grabbed these purple annuals from Home Depot. I really like the little pop of color on the porch, especially for spring. And I always love purple. It's just so vibrant and I love it. Also the grasses that I picked out are a really pretty blend of greens and yellows and they just add a lot of color to that front porch. One of the things I've started doing in the last, I would say year, year and a half is adding fertilizer and this one is so easy. You literally just sprinkle it in. I used to be so intimidated by using fertilizer. <laughs> I don't know why it was like scary for me, but um, I think I didn't want to hurt my plants or like burn my plants, but this one is so easy. You sprinkle it in, you mix it in, and it just lasts for about six months and you do notice a difference with thing, the colors just being more vibrant, everything spreads out. It just looks a little bit more hearty and healthy. I highly recommend getting out and getting some sunshine and planting a few plants. It always just boosts my mood. It's the funniest thing, but I don't know. I've actually heard like studies with the dirt and the sunshine and it really does lift your mood and just bring so much joy. And then you get to enjoy the beautiful colors and watering and I like misting my plants. So it's just really fun for me. I love gardening. So I put that grassy one kind of centered, but more towards the back. And then I filled in all that front area and the sides with the purple annuals. And I did that in both. Sometimes I'll do the planters differently depending on what I buy. Sometimes I'll buy some that um, really kind of drape across the front, but I just went really simple this year and just did two in each planter. It was a little bit more cost-effective that way, but still looks really full. I think these turned out really great. I love the pop of color. I always love the black on my front porch. We have a lot of kind of beigey, grayy type house colors. So I like the pop of black and then the pop of purple in that I just think it's a great little eye catcher. And then what would any little front porch refresh be without a new doormat? I really try to hang on to my doormats as long as I can, but this one just caught my eye at Target. It's super thick, it's, it's really pretty. It has that braided rope, so much texture, and I love, it's almost like a two-tone brown and they're braided in there together. It's really pretty. So these are my old doormats and they're pretty dirty. I can probably hang on to them or put them maybe that one in the wash possibly. We'll see about that, but this porch could really use a good power wash. I would love to do that, but we're supposed to have rain um, actually this weekend. So I'm going to wait on that and just sweep it off for now until it doesn't look like any more rain. And then we can go and do our full power wash and get everything looking really nice for spring and summer. I love how these turned out. They're very easy to put together, super simple, but still adds that little spring touch and with the new rug it just looks so refreshed and pretty when you come home and I love that it always makes me happy I hope you guys enjoyed this little spring refresh there is plenty more to come so make sure you're subscribed let me know if you have any fun spring projects or spring plans happening or things you're working on in your home I would love to hear we are definitely keeping busy with all of the spring sports. Summer's right around the corner. And yeah, it's a, it's a full schedule, but we love it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.